People around the world are now getting jabs of the new coronavirus vaccines. Two of them, one made by Pfizer and BioNTech and another made by Moderna, are unlike any other vaccine. Instead of using weakened or inactivated components of the virus to activate the body's immune response, these new vaccines use messenger RNA or mRNA. What's being injected in your arm is a string of genetic information sealed inside a special coating to protect it from being broken down by your body. That genetic information acts as an instruction manual for our cells, teaching them how to make the spike protein that is unique to the virus SARS-CoV-2. The spike protein is what the virus uses to latch onto and invade healthy cells. There's no risk of infection from an RNA vaccine because it has only one out of 25 pieces of the virus. It takes 25 different parts um, to make a virus and the spike protein is just one of those 25. And so it's completely safe. The body then mounts an immune response, creating antibodies that can detect and fight the virus if a person is infected at a later date. After the spike protein is made, the body then disposes of the mRNA. Thomas Frieden, the former head of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, compared mRNA vaccines to Snapchat. He wrote, think of it as an email sent to your immune system that shows what the virus looks like, instructions to kill it, and then, like a Snapchat message, it disappears. Amazing technology. The technology is not new. Scientists have been experimenting with mRNA vaccines for more than a decade. It has been used for studies on the flu, Zika, Ebola, rabies, and cancer. The pandemic just marked the first time there was enough interest and funding to fully implement the technology. Three days after researchers received the genetic sequence for the new virus, Moderna began work on its vaccine. Two months later, clinical trials began. Certainly, uh, one of the most brilliant things about them is how quickly they can be developed and deployed. And, and a lot of that comes about because the manufacturing of the vaccine is very straightforward. Many questions remain about the new mRNA vaccines. We still don't know exactly how long immunity lasts, nor do we know if they stop transmission of the virus. But most experts tend to agree that the technology used to develop these vaccines could be a game changer to fight future pandemics. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.